What a nice, peaceful morning. Yeah, not for long. Any attraction out here. Rear wheels spinning all over the place. God, is that fun. So glad to have this thing back. I'm at uh, Cinder Hills Off Highway Vehicle Park in Flagstaff, Arizona. Absolutely beautiful out here. My second day here. Leaving tomorrow morning, I think. God, this thing is fast. It's interesting, all this dirt I'm on is uh, actually a uh, old like volcanic ash. It's like lava, because there's a volcano over there that just spewed up all this lava uh, 900 years ago, it said. It's not very grippy, it's like, uh, it's like riding in sand, it's pretty slippery. These trails are perfect too, so many whoops and ditches and stuff, kind of obstacles. this thing all right so I got to kind of explain to you guys what even happened to this thing um, so when I got it back in I got it in December and I uh, in January kind of towards the end I was at the track and I pull in and I turn it off and I rest a little while and then when I try to start it again the Kickstarter just locked up and it kind of just you know we just kind of sat for months because we had other bikes, so it was like, well, we'll just move on to the next one for now. And we kind of just put it off. But this is the nicest bike we have. So, I always wanted to keep on riding it, but I was pretty slow back then anyway, so... It's like, I didn't really have any business or reason to be on it anyways. So, it was probably good that we kind of got put off until... I could gain my skills and get my skills up, you know. Because I was 
still relatively new to motocross when we bought it back then. Wasn't new to riding, but I was new to motocross. And this is a beast of a bike. So just a couple weeks ago, we were like, all right, it's time to freaking get that thing back out because me and my dad were both really wanting to ride this thing since we're a lot faster now on the track than we were. But um, so my dad tears it down and he uh, sees what he can find, if he can find anything uh, wrong in the engine. And the timing chain was just stretch. Uh, and that's all that was wrong, really. The timing chain was just like stretched out. Um, so we ordered a new timing chain, and it could have been a lot worse. The timing chain, if we had kept riding it, and something went wrong when we were riding it, it could have like torn up the entire engine. But everything else was fine, the piston was fine, everything. So just ordered $60 timing chain, threw it back in, and voila, we got the bike back like freaking seven months later. Remember to add me on Snapchat to see just like dirt bike stuff, what I'm doing, you know? And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.